What's going on guys? In today's video we're going to go through week 10 of my trading 212 portfolio update. We will go through the changes that I have made to my utilities, energy, real estate and material sector pies. I've made quite a few changes this week in that regards. So we'll go through that. We'll also talk about my plans to add more companies into different sectors over the weekend and then invest in them next week also. We will have a look over my overall profit and loss after week 10 on my portfolio. We will discuss dividend payments that I received this week. We will also have a look through each of my 12 portfolios. We will also discuss this week's top 10 hot list on trading two and two. So we have a lot to get through in today's video. But before we get into that, if you're new around here, please consider subscribing to the channel as we're currently on 418 subscribers and our next goal is to get to 450. So with all that being said, let's dive right into today's video. So firstly, my trading 2 and 2 portfolio is currently worth €4,944. If we see here, that equates to $1.19 per euro, which equates to $4,943. We are up 7.12% or €328. Again, with a 1.19 euro to USD rate, that gives us a profit so far of just under $390. In terms of dividend payouts this week, we received 43 cent dividend from Realty Income, 40 cent from Apple, 86 cent from AbV, 29 cent from P&G, and 2 euro and 94 cent from Pfizer. I invested a further 150 euro this week into my portfolio, and now let's look through each of my 12 pies to see how each is performing, and also to see what companies I've added in this week overall. First of all, we have my communication services pie which is currently up 8.85%. All three companies are currently in the green. Facebook is up 7.4%. Walt Disney is up 13.5%. And AT&T is pretty much break even. It's up about 0.1%. In consumer discretionary, we are currently 5.8% in the green. And three of the four companies are in the green as well. With Tesla, is currently up nearly 28%. McDonald's is down 1.86%. And again, if that drops below 3 or 4%, I'm going to start investing more to help improve my dollar cost averaging. And my new holdings in here, Starbucks and Nike, are both up. Starbucks is up just under 1% and Nike is currently up 0.3%. We then have my consumer staples pie, which is currently up 5.68%. All three companies are in the green, with Coca-Cola up 7.79%. PepsiCo is up pretty much the same at 75 and P&G is currently up just under 1%. The energy sector is one of the sectors that I've updated this week, and we are currently up 13.5% overall. The three companies, the two originals, which are ExxonMobil, which is up 9.39%, and Chevron is up nearly 19.5%. And our new holding here, although we've only have a tiny position as of now, I just want to start off small, is my iShares Global Clean Energy ETF, so that kind of helps really diversify my energy sector a lot more as ExxonMobil and Chevron would be more traditional type energy stocks whereas the kind of iShares Global Clean Energy ETF will incorporate all the kind of renewable sources of energy which certainly is the way forward. I wanted to keep that ETF also separate from my ETF sector pie as I believe it fits better in here as it's just related to energy whereas if we move on down to my overall ETF pie that incorporates kind of overall markets so we are up 9.13% in this sector. We, my S&P 500 tracks the top 500 companies in the US and we are currently up 8.83%. And the Vanguard FTSE 100 tracks the top 100 companies in the UK and is currently up over 12%. We then have my financial sector pie which is up 9.38%. And my five holdings Visa is up 4.44%. Matt's card is up 1.79%. JP Morgan and Chase is up 18.66%. Bank of America is up 11.5% and Goldman Sachs is currently up 13.26%. Next, if we go into my healthcare sector, again, no added companies this week here, but it's still doing well overall. It's up 6.25% and all three holdings are in the green, with Johnson & Johnson up 1.5%, AbbVie is up 18.6% and Pfizer is back to pretty much break even, which I kind of find that a bit of a surprise considering their vaccine news in the last week or so. But again, once it's in the green, is all that matters. 
We then have my industrial sector pie, which is up 8.88%. And again, all three companies are in the green, with 3M up nearly 6%. Caterpillar is up over 17%. And waste management is up nearly 8.5%. My material sector pie is currently down 8%. And that's mainly due to Barrick Gold. We added in four new companies into the sector to help diversify it out. And again, we only added these companies in just before the video started. And also, we only have a small amount in here. So it'll take a while before this gets into effect. And after a while, once I improve my dollar cost averaging as well, and especially because Barrick Gold is down nearly 10%, this will be prime time to start adding more money in here to help improve my dollar cost averaging. And again, in a few weeks, I nearly guarantee that this overall pie will be back in the green. So the four companies that I've added in are the Air Products and Chemicals, which is currently down 0.8%. Equalab is up 0.3%. Nucor is up or down, sorry, 0.1%. Bark Gold, as they said, is down nearly 10%. And BHP Group is up 0.4%. So this is definitely my worst hit pie or sector overall. But again, that just poses opportunity in my opinion because, as I said, I only added in four of the five of these companies about an hour or so ago. But again, next week, I'll definitely be looking into the sector. And if some of these are still in the red, then I'm going to start pumping money in here, which will really help improve my dollar cost averaging and bring in the sector back into the green. Another pie that I've added companies into this week is my real estate sector. We're currently up 0.72%. Realty income is up 1.2%. And that's one of the companies that I've had all along. I've added four more companies in, in the form of American Tower, which is down 1.6%. Stag, which is up 0.2%. Well Tower, which is down 1.4%. And Essex Property Trust, which is down 0.8%. And again, it doesn't really phase me that the companies I've just added in are already in the red because it takes time for them to bid in. And over time again, just like my material sector, once I start dollar cost averaging these companies, I'm sure they're going to be back into the green. My biggest position in the portfolio so far is my tech sector. We currently have 1,083 euro invested and we're up 8.32%. My four holdings as of now are Microsoft, which is up 3.13%. Amazon, which is up just over 2%, Apple is up 7.3%, and Alphabet Class A is up an impressive 20.87%. And the 12th and final pie in my overall portfolio is in the utility sector, which is currently up 0.16%. And again, in this sector, we've added five companies this week to help really help diversify my portfolio more. And it's kind of worth noting that in my utilities, real estate, materials, and a few others, that I'm only going to be putting in a small amount of my overall capital in as I want to start mainly focus on let's say the tech sector, my healthcare, financials, ETFs, consumer discretionary, communication services, consumer staples, etc. etc. So again, my utilities sector pie will only have a very small fraction of my overall capital. But for now we have the five companies and we have consolidated Edison, which is down 0.2. Next, Era Energy, which is down 0.3. Atmos Energy is up 0.7%. Brookfield Infrastructure is down 0.3. And American Waterworks is currently up 0.7%. Let's have a quick look at this week's 2 and 2 hot list. As again, it's always a great way to kind of get new ideas or new inspirations on companies to invest in. And in terms of the top 10 companies held by trading 2 and 2 users, again, we have Tesla in top position with just over 98,000 users having this in their portfolio. We then have the legs of Apple and Amazon, which again are no surprise. We have Neo and BP. Microsoft makes up sixth. Rolls-Royce and Netflix make up seven and eight. National Grid and Pfizer make up the top 10. If we go into the top risers over the last seven days, we see the top two companies added into positions are Neo and Palantir. And if we go into the top fallers in the last seven days, we see Smile Direct Club and Sundale Grow Growers are the top two that have fell most of all. So these are definitely companies that no one actually wants to be top of the list on in terms of leaderboards. In tomorrow's video, we're going to go through some of my portfolios or portfolio pies that have less than five companies. As I've stated in prior videos that I want to have five companies max per sector and we have done so in the utilities and materials etc already this week so we're up to five but i want to start looking into next week's companies and i want to start looking into let's say communication services which is three i want to add in two companies in there over the next coming weeks 
consumer discretionary we have four so i want to add in one for the company in consumer staples i want to add in two more in energy even though we only have three companies two of those are chevron and exxon and the third is an etf for clean energy so i believe we have enough in there at the moment etfs i'm quite happy just to have the two considering we have the s p 500 and the FTSE 100 financials we already have the five i'm happy there healthcare i want to add two for the companies in my industrials again two more companies i want to add in there over time we have five in my materials we also have five in real estate so again what i'll be looking into next week in these portfolios for example is a dollar cost average so i won't be adding in any further companies all i'll be doing is buying more of the companies that are in the red i'll want to add in a further company into my tech sector and finally again just like real estate and materials in my utility sector we have five companies so next week we'll be only focusing on adding to companies that are in the red in this sector instead of adding any further companies in so with all that being said that brings you into today's portfolio update which brings the conclusion to week 10 of my overall investing on trading 2 on 2 if you found this video anyway entertaining or helpful it'd be brilliant if you consider subscribing to this channel or like the video as would really help the channel and the video going forward and more importantly if you have any questions suggestions or queries please don't hesitate to comment below as i'm always up for any conversations financial or investment related so with all that being said that's the end of the video thanks very much for watching and i will see you all in tomorrow's video